What's up YouTube? Uh, coming at you today with another knife video. This one's just going to be a quick overview on a neat little budget knife that I found and picked up uh, by Martini. Uh, Martini is a Finnish company and they are known mainly for their Scandies and Puko knives and uh, most of those are made in Finland. This is one of their knives made in China so that it's brought at a competitive price. Um, you can find these online for anywhere from $15 to $35 or so. And I was curious, I thought they might be a Scandi grind. You couldn't tell in the pics that I've seen whether there was a secondary bevel or not, but there is. And it's actually a hollow grind. So it's a hollow grind, a uh, saber grind with a secondary bevel. Uh, the steel is 440C. It does come with a mirror polish, as you can see there. Uh, there are some, you know, minor imperfections here and there, but overall it is a mirror polished, high, highly reflective finish. Uh, the pivots are the same way, not as shiny, but it just gives the knife a, a good look. Um, it is a liner lock. The lock up on my example is actually pretty good. see there at about 50 percent maybe a little a little touch earlier than that uh, centering is dead on you can see the centering there a good bit of handle there without the blade not a perfect handle to blade ratio exactly but you know again this is a budget offering <coughs> excuse me <coughs> my my uh, example here has rubberized handles which come in a number of different colors and options the uh, pelican knife also comes in curly birch uh, which is a very good looking wood commonly used on puko and scandi knives um, the downsides to this knife for me are the fact that it has no pocket clip and no way to really carry it other than throwing it in a pack or in your pocket or using a sheath and then the deployment is um, really not that easy at all uh, it really ought to just be a nail nick there but you cannot get in there and open this even with your your thumb and your middle finger or at least I can't uh, get that to come out it has a strong detent which I normally like if the knife had a, a thumb stud or a flipper um, but the detent's really strong along with this opening hole is just tiny and there's no relief here to get to it or anything so it is really sort of a two-handed knife um, so deployment is not that good at all, but again, more of kind of a back pocket knife that you can uh, not worry about cutting up fruit and sweating all over. Can't really spidey drop it either. Well, yeah, you can spidey drop it, just not easily. But uh, it's a 440C blade, if I didn't mention that. So it's going to hold up decently, but not, you know, not great. Um, I was kind of disappointed it was a hollow grind, but, you know, for the money, can't expect much. I like the simplistic style of it, the shape of the handle scales, the feeling of the rubber is nice, and uh, just kind of a nice knife to throw in your truck glove box or tackle box or somewhere where you just have an extra knife if you need it. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I'll put a uh, link below to Martini. And uh, everybody have a good one.